If you build it, they will cross. A leading wildlife expert says it may be necessary to build a most unusual bridge to help the mountain lion prosper in San Diego County. New at 5, 10 News reporter Michael Jen looks at what some fear could happen if those bridges are not created. From green bridges in Germany and Canada to wildlife overpasses in Montana and Washington, animals are tracking new paths across highways. A leading wildlife expert says it may be time for a similar span on the I-15 in San Diego County. I think a wildlife bridge and crossing should be looked at very seriously. Winston Vicker is a wildlife veterinarian tracking mountain lions or cougars in the Santa Ana Mountains, which extend into northern San Diego County. Vehicle collisions are the number one cause of death in, in cougars in Southern California in our study. He says more than 50 have been killed in the last 25 years, including this one in Forest Ranch in 2011. And it now appears fewer and fewer cougars are trying to cross highways. Since 2001, Vicker and his team at UC Davis have tagged nearly 80 mountain lions. The last known safe crossing happened in 2010, here, just south of Fallbrook when a tagged mountain lion walked right under the 15 along Gopher Canyon Road. He says many mountain lions in our area are simply turning around when they meet a highway. The result, a crisscross of highways and development has penned the cougars into smaller areas, leading to a lack of genetic mixing, which could translate into problems in reproduction and immune systems. There is a real concern that there could be a, a decline in that population. A concern that could be addressed with a wildlife bridge or underpass filled with native plants to blend in. Vicker is planning an expert panel to determine how many bridges would be needed for mountain lions to roam far and wide safely. Michael Chen, 10 News. Okay, now to give you an idea of the cost, this is the largest wildlife bridge in the West. It's located in Elko, Nevada, which is just north of Reno at a cost of $1.8 million. And it also has protective fencing on both sides.